So this question says the function f of x equals 1 ninth x minus 7 to the second power plus 3 gives a metal ball's height above the ground f of x in inches x seconds after it started moving on a track where x is between 0 and 10. So x was second. So we're between 0 and 10 seconds. Which of the following is the best interpretation of the vertex of the graph of y equals f of x? All right, so first of all, the vertex is provided for us, right? So we have f of x equals 1 ninth x minus 7 squared plus 3. Um, we have to realize that this is coming from this equals plus or minus a x minus h squared plus k, where h comma k is the vertex. So what that tells us is that our vertex is at 7 comma 3, right? x is equal to 7, y is equal to 3. So because x is equal to 7, that means it's been 7 seconds, at which point we have our vertex, okay? So that's important to know. So again, which of the following is the best interpretation of the vertex of the graph? Well, let's see. Choice A, the metal ball's minimum height was three inches above the ground. Well, that makes sense because X is for seconds and Y is for height. So this is literally telling us that at seven seconds, we're at three inches. Um, so, and because it's a vertex of a parabola that's opening upward, because again, our value here is positive, which means that the parabola opens upward. If it were negative in front of there, it would open downward. So yeah, this is the minimum value. So I like choice A. I like that interpretation. Choice B, the metal ball's minimum height was seven inches. No, seven has to do with time, not height. Choice C, the metal ball's height was three inches above the ground when it started moving. No, when it started moving would be x equals zero, right? That would be zero time. So nope, not at seven seconds, so that's gone. And then choice D, the metal ball's height was seven inches above the ground. Nope, seven has to do with time, not inches, so D is gone. So A is the best answer to this question.